Hello and welcome back. I have a new buddy joining us today on the show. That's the title of the episode, but also a buddy new to the Look Back Diaries, just as he was new to the Lizzie Bennet Diaries. If you want to see the longer version of this conversation and all kinds of fun bonus stuff, check out the Patreon. My name is Ashley Clements. I'm Craig Frank, and this is the Look Back Diaries. Nailed it. <laughs> no notes. You know, I like, I, like, I like no notes. Actually, I don't like no notes. I like, when I don't get any notes, I'm like, wait a minute. I, is it not fixable? You know not fixable. <laughs> Hi. Hi. How are you? Oh, you know, just fine. Well, I'll tell you what, something that they're always curious about, the viewers of this show, about mm -hmm. the other show, is what people are up to. And I feel like your answer to this is most exciting. So will you tell them where you are and what you're doing? I am currently in Vancouver, Canada. I think that's how you pronounce it. Yeah. Canada. Canada. Um, I'm shooting an ABC series called Alaska Daily. Uh, it was uh, uh, created, and the first two episodes are directed by Tom McCarthy, who won the Oscar for Spotlight. And it also stars Hilary Swank, two-time Oscar winner. Um, and that and is, how many Oscars been, do you have? Oh, I have, uh, uh, the, when, the, what year was, none, I have none, I have zero. Oh, okay, sorry. Yeah, 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 yeah. Zero, zero, of those. zero of those. Um, but no, it's been fun. But they still let you play. They still let me, yeah, they still wanted me to be here. Uh, you know, they, nice. they asked me, they were like, hey, can you do this show? And I was like, I don't know, I don't know. And then they are like, come on. And I was like, fine. And so then I came, I'm here, I'm doing it. It's very generous of you. You know, I'm a generous person. Well, that beg, show though. has premiered uh, by the time that this will air. So uh, everyone it go has. check out. Yeah, you can see it on ABC or you can stream it on Hulu. That's how I will watch it. Is on Hulu. On Hulu? Yeah. Because yeah. who has cable anymore? Well, ABC's network television. So, you know, if you have network television. You can... Yeah, I don't have that either. <laughs> you don't have that either? I have yeah. the internet. The internet's great. The internet's great. It's a great place. It's a great place. Well, you speaking of the internet, show. here we are. And, and here you started. We've done this bit, Craig. I'm looking Some back. Some notes. Some I'm notes. Back. I'm looking back into I'm looking back. Yeah, okay, but I, I have a note now. Okay, what's the note? Stop that. Whatever you're doing is making like a lot of noise on the mic. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. I'm going to stop doing that. Um, you have quite an illustrious web series career from like early web series days. Like you were one of the original people doing this in, at a time when not a lot of people were. Do you want to talk at all about that or how you got involved with this particular web series? Well, first of all, when I moved out to, when I moved out to LA, I moved out, I moved in with Bernie Sue, the creator of the show. When the Lizzie Bennet Diaries was starting, there was all these references to like compulsions, this streamy award-winning series. Um, and this yeah. is from the same creator. And so like, I did watch that, which is such a different tone that I was like, I don't, know that this is relevant to like what we're doing now um in terms of like me learning anything about what i was getting into um but so yes i knew who you were i, I don't but i don't really think that we'd met i think that like i knew who you were and i think we met when you came to audition um yeah i mean two, yeah. two things about that one you've just described that like you've known bernie for so many years and you you still had to audition because everyone had to audition for this show Nobody got offered anything ever. Like the auditions for Fitz were kind of the most like non-audition auditions. Like Bernie just called two friends, two people read for Fitz. Yeah. Um, and, and they I were in his apartment person. as opposed to like actually renting space. And so, yes, I met you. And which is also where we always rehearsed the show was like in Bernie's apartment. So I met you in, you know, this usual spot. That's not the apartment you lived in, was it? No, 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 no. That was not the apartment that we lived in. Yeah, of course. Um, I, that one had two bedrooms. <laughs> but I will, I will say this. Um, 
the one thing that the the one big thing that I pulled from that audition was and that that I really really enjoyed was the fact that I actually got to read with you as opposed to well reading. that that was the like Reader. everyone had to chem read with me is yeah. like the and so that that um, to me was like the best part because you know it's, it's you never do that you never you never do that unless it's like a big movie and it's like you've already done seven auditions and you get to like the very end yeah I, I do it I do like that part of our show because it also meant that like I had um a say in in like who I felt like I had a good rapport with and, and you so, picked the other guy I know I heard I heard it's cool that's not true that's that's cool um no, like there was really no competition. It was it was obvious that like you were a great fit, but uh, great nobody, fits. nobody got this part. Great fits. Nobody great got this fits. part. Any part without uh, without reading with me. Yeah. But also guy, having seen Compulsion, I didn't know how funny you were, so I didn't know that that was that. <laughs> so, that's so funny because that the the reverse it was re the reverse for people who watch Compulsions. Because everything else I had done was comedy. And then when I did Compulsions, they were like, wait, what? What are you doing? Um, no, I get that. Then you got the part. We did the usual thing of rehearsing. You were a part of our first day at this new location. So we were a little bit less in like the groove of knowing exactly what we were doing. And then we shot some episodes. Shall we take a look at the first one? Let's do that. I'm all cringe over here in the corner while I'm watching. Ooh. All right, here we well, go. Well, look, I that's my face. So, <laughs> and also it's 10 years ago. Oh, you're new. I have a no cringe policy. Oh. Well, I guess you can cringe, but we're not, we're not um, denigrating our younger selves. Okay. We are going, oh, look at little baby version of that. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Oh, okay. Look, because we're being kind to ourselves. So it, if you see something, we're like, wow, that was a, that was bad. That was bad acting per my uh -huh. my um, standards now. We just go, oh, look oh, at me. I was trying so that. hard. Oh, look <laughs> I was at that. doing my best. Oh, Mr. Berg. I'm just looking at my hair and makeup because I don't like them. <laughs> What's wrong with you? I know. Hair I just said we're not. Thank you. I just said that we're we're nice, but I also have, I do pick up my hair and makeup because I did them. Um, oh, I met you. What? Yes. Here's just a subtle transition into. You are really good at this, friendship. by the way. Oh, thanks. Oh my god, I forgot oh. how much hair you had. Jeez. <laughs> Look at that fro. Look at all that hair. Good Lord. It's fantastic. Look, we both had more hair then. Ah, yes. This is a... Why would anyone agree to this? If I said this, you'd be like, oh, I know exactly what I'm doing tonight. Like, both well, Craig and Fitz would immediately go home and watch all the videos. I, I, I think... It's the sweetness that we have people stick around and be like, yeah, that's fine. I'll, I'll commit to that. Yeah, and then you, you end up being, oh, this became a major quote, agoraphobic lobster. Greg, how tall are you? I'm 5'10". I think I'm sitting. Pro I think I'm. I think I'm in the the Darcy positioning where I'm like sat taller. Oh, is that why you did that? No, no, no memory. Just a. No, I'll tell you why. I don't have a butt, so I sit very <laughs> low. Um, but I we we sat me on an Apple box and uh, DVG on a stool. Although oh, yeah? we haven't actually. He's not in this. I don't know. We may have also just sat at you. I don't know. Cause it just you're significantly taller than me. <laughs> and this, this that prop is one of my favorite things that ever appeared on this show. Like 
Yes, Katie most destroyed a stuffed dog. Wait, what happened? Look, that so this stuffed dog is supposed to stand in for her little asthmatic dog, Annie Kins, which is named for Catherine de Berg's sickly daughter, Anne. Oh my um, goodness. This was, I, I hated this. Oh, why? Because I never met Darcy. Had we had to cast to him. <laughs> Everyone know. had to do this. So I had nothing Everyone to Everyone up till now on the show was just making it up. But, you know, where it works is that everyone then just has a varying degree of, of impressions ability. Yeah. Like, are you bad at it? Are you good at it? It's, ultimately, that works out fine. I wish I still had that tie, though. I'd wear it right now. That's the Darcy ties. I think Katie Most has it in a box somewhere. <laughs> A lot of hair. Look at you just trying to like, man, you know, maneuver. This is your attempt to be a good wingman. Huh? I think it's the your second episode where you really uh, screw things up, but you're trying here to help your friend. Do we actually know that he was fake texting? Well, I'm just going off what you know you're saying. I know, I know. I don't but here you you're know, saying like, oh, clearly. he talked to you. Or Fitz doesn't believe you, I should say. Well, and let me tell you, like the audience freaking loves Darcy, obviously, but like when I look at the comments of the episodes, they're always just like, oh, Darcy. I can't wait to look at the comments for this one because they're gonna, they're, I'm sure they love you, but also they get very invested in the the ship and you're you're trying to get us together and they appreciate that I think you're fake texting right now I fake text all the time see no but <laughs> see no if you can see that no but no, sit low <laughs> I felt like we had met before. I felt like yeah. we knew each other. Well, also, now I'm remembering, do you remember this? That when you got cast, you you asked if I would, like, meet you yes. outside of rehearsal, like, before like, we, we had, went, like, we a had meal. Lunch. Yes! Um, and I was like, what? what? <laughs> That's right. Um, yeah, because I no did. one had asked me to do that. So, yeah, we did build a rapport. Yeah, um, that's true. That's true. I did. I forgot that ha that happened. I was like, because I'd never met. I, I thought about it. I was like, I've never met this person before. I should probably go, like, have lunch with her and talk. And, and yeah, we sat and we had lunch. Yeah. In like at Silver a restaurant that that is now a Warby Parker. Is that what it is now? That yes. was such. Wow, that was such a smart thing as an actor for me to do. <laughs> yeah. I know there's like, things where like you sort of like pick these things up along the way and you're like oh yeah that's, that's funny that's a good move well, if I it would have well because like the worked. girls and I we all did that before we started shooting because we were supposed to have been like first of all sisters and like lifelong best friends and uh -huh. so we were like oh we like you and I are supposed to be like fairly new friends so we didn't right. have you know as much to build but we the, the four of us were like well we better like build some camaraderie here and you know i think that we do a pretty good job of that but it, it also so clearly builds through the show but like we really did become yeah. close and so and just we were working together all the time so like it just got like easier and more um you know sort of more natural but i think this comes off very natural and yeah we probably met two or three times at this point and it's interesting because like fitz comes comes back in a in the spin-off with Gigi, but you only make two appearances in the yeah. Lizzie Bennet Diaries. Technically three, you're in a Q&A, but um, no plot ever happened in a Q&A. So uh, you make a big impact, I think, in those I, couple you know, episodes. I will say this. Uh, it, it, this, to this day, has been the one thing 
that I'm most famous for. Same. <laughs> Which is like. But, I, but that's crazy when you consider that you're in two. And I've that you've been yeah, in like multiple what, television shows and like. Yes. That's what I mean. Like I've been in multiple television shows. I've done, and I'm not bragging here, but this is like, I'm just laying it out. No. I, I've done it's true. a countless number of national commercials. And yes. I was in, I was at, I drove my mom, uh, my two aunts and my nieces and nephews to, or, to Orlando, Florida, because I'm originally from Miami. And I drove them up oh. one, I was there for vacation once and drove them up to, to Orlando for uh, Disney World. And someone came up to me and they're like, are you, do you play Fitz on Lizzie Bennett Dyers? I was like, are you kidding me? Like, is that a, you're asking me a real question, like, what? And I took a person on that, for her. and on that same trip, on the way back to LA, I, I have a layover in North Carolina, and I'm in like this, uh, this line for like a bagel shop or something. And this girl comes up to me, she goes, oh my God, are you, do you play like Fitz in the Lizzie Bennett Diaries? And I was like, what? what? And she's like, well, I, my, my roommate loves the show. I don't, I don't watch it, which I was like, <laughs> you, you, you clearly do. Out. You pointed me out. You, you watch it enough. And I only did two episodes. <laughs> She's like, well, my friend loves you. And I, I snapped a photo with her. And then years later, I'm in London working on a, a I'm producing a car show. And I'm at a car show because we're shooting cars for the car show that we're making. Um, and they're having like their version of VidCon or, or WonderCon or I don't remember what it was. I just know it was happening in the same like convention center that we were in because it was massive. And somebody came up to me, she goes, oh my God, are you, and I'm thinking like somebody, like at some point somebody's going to be like, you, you're, you're from Mixology or you're from, from the messengers. No, everything has always been, are you fits from, <laughs> this thing has been massive. I did two episodes. I mean, it's like, it is this, it's what makes it like such a bizarre phenomenon and why, and why we're talking about it 10 years later and why it's so like weird to. Because, like, something that I've been kind of explaining to them is, like, to our friends here. The Lizzie Bennet Diaries pays, uh, paid, like, no dollars. <laughs> National commercials, multiple network television series, series regulars, like, those are the jobs that, like, those are the, like, the biggest, best jobs you can get as an actor. And, like, in terms of money status opportunity and like you're on a show you're on a show that's yeah. being blasted into millions of homes like yeah. definitely more people have watched those shows but our show has this like really dedicated mm -hmm. fan base that re-watches the show and like they they feel closer to it because it's YouTube, because it's this vlog style, there's this intimacy to it. They feel a lot closer to it than they feel to something like Mixology. And maybe they did all walk, watch Mixology, but they're probably not like doing their annual rewatch of it. Right, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's no just sense. crazy. Go check know. out Mixology. Craig was very funny on that. Um, no, check out Alaska Daily. Check out Alaska Daily. October 6th on ABC. It premiered. Yeah. So every Thursday night after Grace, maybe you'll be recognized for Alaska Daily. But it is crazy, just like the love for the show yeah. that is just sort of it, like it means a lot to people, which is just yeah. lovely. Well, let's take a look at what they thought about this because that's always fun to take a look at the comments. I forgot to tell you that that's a recurring bit. All right, let's look at the comments. Emily M says agoraphobic lobster. This is hands down the best description of Darcy ever, if not the best line in the vlog. Juliana Pimentel says, dude, if Fitz is basically Darcy's best friend, how much are you willing to bet he knows about Lizzie from Darcy? At least a little bit. Oh, like you come into this having heard about me? Yeah, sure. Um, Estelle T says Fitz is a total dizzy shipper. It's true. I mean, you, I think you just want what's best for your friend. <laughs> I remember when we were at, uh, what were we at? I don't know, VidCon or something. And I Probably. had to, the whole, we were on the panel and I had to have the audience explain to me what shipping meant. <laughs> it's because you weren't on Tumblr throughout this whole experience. Yeah, exactly. Like, I could have told you. Because I, I, I had to learn too. I didn't know what shipping meant. I was like, what is shipping? Um, they were like, oh, yeah. And I was like, you mean relationship? Like, it's a whole word. 
Christine Stevenson said, the best part is that there actually is a Collins and Collins how to eat a sandwich video. <laughs> Michael Ori says, okay, but Fitz is so cute. It's Michael. true. Michael. <laughs> Naomi Roslin says, Fitz is fantastic. Perfect casting. Naomi. Naomi. Stop it. <laughs> Um, I'm just going to look for compliments. That's all we're reading now. Yep, that's just compliments. Um, in Why retrospect. Are men in this so attractive. What? <laughs> uh, yes, oh yes, goodness. that is a very good comment. And also true. We only, like, oh, we only had hotties. And it's just the, <laughs> the rule of this entire show. Wandering Dream says, in retrospect, Fitz does do a much better Darcy impression than Lizzie, which is pretty awesome. So there you go. Even though we were both making stuff up based on someone who had not been cast, they liked yours better. You know, I try. I try. Oh, here, Akira Nico says, Fitz is so unbearably charming. We can't bear it. We cannot bear Akira, it. Akira, I see you, Akira. I see you. Don't listen to Anj says, oh my gosh, Fitz is adorable and his Darcy impression is hilarious. Okay, you guys got to stop it now. I'm blushing. Okay, stop well, it. we can stop. There's just a bunch of, there's a bunch Fitz more comments. Fitz is the best. Uh, just guys. Yeah. <laughs> so glad you relax. included Fitz. <laughs> so there you go. Beloved. Beloved. And I guess also we should, we should mention that, of course, you are, uh, that Fitz is uh, our version of Colonel Fitzwilliam, which is a little bit difficult because, um, confusingly, Darcy's real first name in Pride and Prejudice is Fitzwilliam. And then you're Colonel Fitzwilliam. Because there's only like seven names in England at the time that, you know, so, so just there's, they ran out of them. I'll let the Jane Austen scholars explain this, why it is this way in the comments. They are often much smarter about it than I am. But but like, you are obviously our Colonel Fitzwilliam who basically does the same thing in Pride and Prejudice. He's like the guy who shows up to like talk up Darcy. I mean, you're there for some other reason, but I, I don't remember. And to talk up Darcy and then ends up spilling what we'll find out in your, your next episode. It's cool. You don't need to have me back. I'm not, I'm not that important. I did two episodes. I yeah, but I would love to have you back on for the next episode that you're on so uh no i'm good so I'm good. okay um well i hope no no, no i'll do it 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 i'm just playing hard to get i'll do it i'll do it i'm here i'm here for you great I'm here for you well then everyone stay tuned he'll be back thanks for joining us on the look back diary <laughs> Yay.